Hey everyone, welcome back to Software Testing Mentor and RCV Academy. Today I am here to answer very commonly asked question in software testing. Is coding necessary for software testing jobs or to progress in your software testing career? Now this is very frequently asked question by the people who are fresher and want to start a career in software testing or even the people who have started the career in software testing, they think that programming or coding is the must skill to succeed in the job or in the industry and they always have this thing in mind that development jobs are more lucrative they pay more but software testing is not that lucrative job it's not a good job or if you don't know programming skills you are not a good tester so i'll answer all of those questions now to this question is coding necessary for software testers or testing job the short answer is no okay it is not necessary to have the programming or coding skills to succeed or to crack a job in the software testing field. Now, why is it not necessary? Now, the reason coding is helpful for you as a software tester is in the case when you want to add an extra automation skill to your skill set, right? Now, testing is not manual or it's not automated, right? So you can't categorize testing as manual and automation testing. Testing is testing. It is ensuring the quality of the product or the application, right? Now, when you perform those steps manually, that's categorized basically as manual testing and then if you if your script is running that's automation testing so that's how the categorization has came in place but actually testing is testing you are just taking help of some tools and programming languages to automate the script or to do the testing but the thought process that is required is you as the tester the, who will ensure what to test right your tool is not going to help in that case there is no artificial intelligence or tools automation tools available that will do that testing automatically right so that's why this coding is not necessary because your thought process is required as a testing professional to understand the application to understand the requirement write the test cases see the scenarios see the integration points and how you are going to test okay so absolutely not required but it's good to have if you want to move into the test automation architect or SDET role or manager as debt manager sort of role in more of a technical uh, roles in software testing that space is where you will need this skill or even in the performance uh, a brief sort of programming skill is really helpful but if you do not have the programming skills does it mean that there are less options absolutely not okay there are still many options open and you will see whenever say for example you start in the software testing project or in a company as a software tester you will find that not everyone is writing the fancy code to automate everything right so there is a requirement there to for people to actually read the requirement understand it and that's what testers usually do understand the requirement then write the test cases based on the thought process what they are going to test how they are going to test right so that's where your focus will be now if you do not if you have the skills so say for example you don't have the skill right so i don't have so i'll cover the path for that and then i have programming skills or i am keen to learn programming skills right so not everyone is very comfortable or want to basically learn programming skills right everyone is not same so everyone has their unique qualities so it's not necessary or that you know programming then only you are you know great tester so if you don't know programming skills what are the career paths that you can choose so basically if you don't know uh, the skills focus more on the domain expertise so say for example you are working in banking or finance telecom focus learning more on the domain get a hands-on of all the integration points what happens in that domain how things are done what are different applications so that domain skill will give you an edge of understanding the whole ecosystem of that domain and will help you succeed in being the subject matter expert right so SMEs SMEs are subject matter expert 
who basically know most of the key aspects of that particular application or the product right how the product works how it is being integrated with third party and all of that system right so once you become SME, you can basically then also be the lead for the team. So team lead and managing the overall team. So team leads, if you are an automation team lead, you'll be leading the automation team or the SDET uh, team to ensure that the manual test scripts that are being there are being converted into the automation scripts and helping in expediting the overall testing. But once you are an SME, you can, you know, go for a test lead sort of position. Um, the What are the key things that you need to ensure here is you have the good uh, domain knowledge, you are, you have good communication skill, uh, you have the analytical thinking capil capabilities. So all of that will lead to that. Then from here, you will become, you know, like test manager and then director and so on, right? So it's not like you do not have programming skills, so you cannot go to that level okay if you have programming skills and want to stick to it that's the another path so here you mean you are more interested into as that sort of roles okay but that doesn't mean that you do not need the skills that you have acquired from here right analytical thinking is still required you need to have good communication skill these are all default skills that you will need few things that you need more is in terms of programming and you can you know ignore a little bit of the domain expertise you don't need to have that much domain expertise because you have expertise in something else which is basically setting up the automation framework and scripting and all of that right so it's more of hand in hand roles that go together not everyone does coding in software testing and not every coding person that is doing this as that role is involved too much in as a subject matter expertise okay so that's why it's the complete team working together now from this as that you can be a test automation lead right so you can be a lead test automation lead and then test automation uh, manager and so forth and so on so it's basically you know uh, test automation you know architect uh, so there are different roles that you can pursue in the automation space as well. So eventually both of these paths, whether you know programming language or you don't, you need to basically analyze your interest area and then see what you are good at and what you like doing, right? So if you are, if you are not very keen in learning programming skills and language, Java, Python, you don't want to, you can switch to this or if you want to do automation but you do not want to learn these programming languages right so there are low code automation tools as well okay low code or no code they say so what these tools are for example tosca okay so no programming language is required or no programming skill set is required when you are using the tool so in the tool itself, they have built all the capabilities so that you can basically sort of drag and drop and form the cases and usually automate. So I'll cover a separate video on this. But yes, even though if you are in this path, you can still be a little bit of, you know, like automation person. Or if you love programming, go for Java, Python and take this particular path. If you are into programming, all these tools, low code or no code tools, will be piece of cake for you okay so that's basically a brief about is coding necessary for soft software testers so absolutely no and this is the brief roadmap or path that you can take and do not worry software testing is not going anywhere it's going to stay unless artificial intelligence becomes so intelligent that you know it becomes chitty and chitty is or chitty has started taking over so if you have watched robot movie uh, you would know what I'm talking about. So uh, robot becomes so powerful with artificial intelligence that they have the intelligence of the human, right? So if, if that happens, that's a separate story. But until then, software testing is going to stay. So I hope this was a um, helpful video. Thank you very much for watching.